Memory of E. John Robinson. See his palette, nature his home. I'm Karen Robinson Wilson, E. John Robinson's daughter, uh, second daughter, and this is T.J. Wilson, E. John's grandson. My name's T.J. Wilson. E. John Robinson was my grandfather. Um, Papa. Papa, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're sitting on my father's memorial bench at the Botanical Garden in Fort Bragg, looking out at the view that he looked at many times, teaching classes, painting, working and helping volunteer in the garden here, a place that he loved. And so it's a good spot to be. I, I, it's uh, special to sit here and see what he was seeing. It's an opportunity to feel close. Certain areas, you know, it's, you kind of feel it, but you know, somewhere that he loved personally. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it, it's, it's significant because I know he stood there. He, you know, he stood here and he would have loved it if it was wild waves, <laughs> but it's beautiful today. So even though he'd come out here, I'm sure, on a rainy day to watch the wild waves uh, or get in the car and drive up the coast because it was crashing. Yeah. Yes. And, when it sometimes when it's like rainy out and it's you know there's waves crashing, I'll like on the way home I'll I'll just pull over and just watch the waves and. It always makes me think of him. You know? Always. This memorial bench was placed here about six months after he passed away. Um, and we had a memorial here for him. And he volunteered here. A lot of the volunteers here probably, you know, that are around still know of him. And I'd love to hear their stories. Um, he spent a lot of time here. Uh, and it's just beautiful another place to remember him. I don't remember myself coming out here with him. I wish I had, you know, kind of walked the garden. I mean, every every time we're here, we kind of are, though. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are. We are walking the garden with him. Yeah. You're right. We, some of the, um, the plaques in the garden were hand-painted by him. Um, we found one this morning. I think in the rhododendron more. garden, I, I think there is more. I hope to find more. I want to go on a little exploration. But he was so involved in, in this and in the art community, and he taught so many classes out here. I can see his design up front where there's a lot of heathers and heaths, and the wine song event that they have here is, is very well-known far and wide. People come from all over. It has become a really big thing and food, wine, everything everywhere and a big huge auction tent. Everything from sculptures to ceramics to um, paintings and all the proceeds goes to hospice. So he was really he was involved in in just giving back, you know. As the bench said, the see his palette, nature his home, is so true. And he believed that. And he is a part of all of that. And uh, yeah, you can't look at the sea and not think of him. <laughs>